The Chief Minister Katie Gallagher has released an action plan for the next 12 months outlining goals and deadlines for her government. She calls it an ambitious agenda with targets voters can judge the new leader by. Coinciding with the release of the new government agenda, there was also a new face in the Assembly today with the MLA for Ginandera, Chris Burke, officially sworn in. Anna Morizo reports. <laughs> A traditional welcome for the Territory's first Indigenous MLA. Sweeping away any bad spirits for a fresh start. Then from an ancient ceremony to a modern one. I, Christopher John Burke, solemnly affirm that I will faithfully serve the people of the Australian Capital Territory. The Canberra dentist won the spot through a countback, with the man he succeeded watching from an unfamiliar part of the chamber. In his maiden speech, Chris Burke acknowledged the rarity of his position. It is an important event, not just for Canberra's Indigenous community, but also the half a million Aboriginal Torres, Torres Strait Islanders in Australia who continue to be underrepresented in our democracy. Bringing an Indigenous perspective to the Assembly, Dr Burke pledged his commitment to healing the wounds of the past. For me, the purpose of reconciliation is nation building. But he also promised to help build a better Canberra. It was a day of new beginnings, not just for Chris Burke. Katie Gallagher, asserting her new leadership, released a list of about 50 projects to be tackled during the next 12 months. Access to healthcare, housing options and improved public transport among the eight priority headings. I think it is an ambitious agenda, uh, but I think it's also important uh, at this point in, in my time as Chief Minister very early on to be clear about what my priorities are and the fact that I am prepared to be measured against them. Putting all sorts of deadlines on this government when it hasn't even been able to deliver the most basic infrastructure and the most basic services. Uh, it's difficult to take it seriously. But Katie Gallagher is likely to take it very seriously, with an election now just 16 months away. Anna Morrisow, ABC News, Canberra.